Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mario Zero here. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing my take on the WannaCry ransomware and actually run and execute it on a Windows 7 and Windows 10 operating system, both with and without protection. Now, I've seen a bunch of YouTube channels ranging from tech, alternative, and mainstream doing stories on this for the past two days. And I think a lot of it is pure fear mongering. Yeah, a lot of it. Now, I'm not saying that the WannaCry ransomware is not dangerous, but after getting my hands on it and having some basic protection, it doesn't appear to really be that big a threat. This video is strictly for educational purposes, and I will be infecting my own computers. I do not recommend trying this on your own computers unless you really know what you're doing. So before we even start, I want to say I am not going to provide any download links to the ransomware. So please don't request it. I'm not going to do it um, for obvious reasons. So uh, last Friday, a dangerous piece of ransomware apparently spread across the planet and infected more than 70,000 computers in just a couple hours. That's what they're saying. Attacks apparently happened in hospitals, telecom companies, FedEx, and even the Russian Interior Ministry. I have personally run this ransomware on a controlled network and did not see any indication of it spreading. The only way I was able to infect a Windows 7 or Windows 10 computer was to actually run the executable file with no protection on the OS. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here and run it. Here we have our Windows 7 freshly installed. All right, and I created a bunch of text files on the desktop here because we want to see this encryption work. So I just copied and pasted a bunch of text. All right, and this has no security updates, no updates whatsoever from Microsoft. It has no virus protection whatsoever. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and just illustrate that real quick. Let's go to Windows Update. For all you Mac users and Linux and Unix users, this doesn't apply to you at all. You're safe. It's only you Windows users out there, okay? So as you can see here, we have no updates applied whatsoever. So here we have our, our WannaCry executable, and I'm going to go ahead and run it. Drum roll. Yeah, let's go ahead and execute it. This is it in action, people. Look at that. Uh-oh. That's what happens when you execute it right there. That's live. That's real time. Look at that. I'm going to choose no. Look, there's our message. There it is. All right. So what is this message? Oops, your files have been encrypted, obviously. As we can see, I'm opening one of those text files right now. And what do we have? Uh, it's encrypted. Can't make anything out. No ice cream nothing there we go there's our message again all right so and they're gone okay so let's look at this uh bitcoin address for the free all you out there that understand bitcoin let's see if we can uh actually even get to a browser it's the first time i'm actually executing actually no it's the second second time i'm executing it so i can see if more money's been deposited in this Bitcoin address. Boy, the processes are uh, going. Let's go to the blockchain. Let's see what we got going here. Again, this is a computer that has no antivirus, any malware protection, no Windows updates, nothing all right try to close that let's check it five bitcoins in this this address right here so as you can see people this is something you do not want to open you know this is something that you're not even gonna 
want to attempt a fix. So that's what happens when you uh, run this ransomware on your computer with no protection. All right, so let's go ahead and try this with just the Windows updates. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and try this with a version of Windows 7 Professional with all of the Microsoft updates applied. So let's go into Windows Update. And as you can see, I applied all the updates on this version of Windows. Okay, and we have our ransomware right here, our WannaCry ransomware. So with the updates alone, no virus protection, just the updates alone. Let's see what happens. Drum roll. Doesn't help. I knew it wasn't going to help. Um, apparently, the patch was only supposed to help computers on a network might get that but see applying the updates i only did this as an example applying the updates alone uh only makes you vulnerable so let's move on and let's try this with some uh antivirus software shall we all right, moving on. All right, in this version of uh, Windows 7 Professional, we have no Microsoft updates installed. All we have is the Avast free version, mind you, okay? And we are going to go ahead and execute the WannaCry ransomware. And we're gonna see what happens here, okay? Again, no Microsoft updates, only the free version of Avast. And I didn't do anything in the software. It was just the default install. So let's go ahead and, and execute it and see what happens. Would you look at that? Hmm. Threat blocked. There you go. Without doing anything in Avast, okay, it was blocked. All right. And this is what? A fairly recent... Uh, ransomware that's been, you know, hitting the news. And there you go. All right. Very simple. All right, people. Very simple. Let's go ahead and hit OK. OK. And you know what? Your system's protected. That's a free version right there without doing anything. I just installed it. That was it. I didn't even go in, set my, you know, scan settings, any of that. That's just from an initial install so there you go there you go a vast install it it protected you that's it that's all you had to do was download a vast and then there you you're protected moving on to windows 10 let's see how it handles this ransomware all right this is a fresh install of windows 10 okay same thing i put a bunch of uh uh Text files on the desktop. Let's see how it handles the WannaCry ransomware executable. All right, I this is like I said, this is a fresh install. Nothing done to it. Windows 10. So let's go ahead and execute this file. Drum roll. Would you look at that? Hmm. There you go, folks. Encryption happening. We'll wait it out. Do not open executable files that you do not know the source of. There's your protection. So that's Windows 10, fresh install opening that executable file with no protection. And there you go. There's the famous pop-up message. Eh, I'm, I'm gonna choose no because most people are gonna hit no and look at that. There you go, people. 
There you go.